Hi ladies and happy Monday. So I wanted to start a new series on the glowing lifestyle page and I wanted to share how to make a rollerball because any lady that starts with me, I always send them a free rollerball. So this is what a rollerball looks like. Um, so you already got it in your package and it comes with a stainless steel roller ball and then you can um, add your oils to it and then bam you can um, apply topically so um that's one of like my favorite ways um to show people how to use the essential oils is because you can customize it you can this can be like Oh my god can be so many different things you can make something for daily use you can make for like you know when something like a flu bomb rollerball or you can make a perfume into this so there's a bunch of things that you can do with it and um, since it's one of the first things that I do send and I give out to my oil mermaids, I figured I would um, show you. And so on the Glowing Lifestyle page, um, all this week what I'm going to be sharing is a different rollerball recipe so that you can try out. Um, for right now, I have it scheduled for just this week, but we'll see because then I'm thinking, I don't know, like I have some ideas that maybe it'll last all month long and I just share um, rollerball recipes and one of my favorite things to do is obviously to share this information and to educate on how to use the essential oil so the glowing lifestyle page if you're not on it um, it is a private Facebook group for all of my clients not only my oil mermaids but um, my personal training clients as well my fit hour clients even my past clients who are no longer like an online program or anything like that but they are also on there um, and I just like to educate on, on nutrition fitness and the essential oils so if you're not on there, go ahead and uh, go on the on Facebook and search for the Glowing Lifestyle. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So one of the other things that I uh, sent my oil mermaids as well is either a quick reference guide. It may look a little different. If you did not receive this one, you received a different one. Um, I like to switch them up and see what works best. Um, so far right now, I really, really like this one. Um, this is the essential quick reference and so actually this comes from a book which I have right in front of me it's from this textbook that I have and this textbook is amazing but um, this part is what's in this reference book so it has all of your ailments and how to treat it so if you open it onto page 13 it actually tells you can't see it but um it'll tell you the ratio for dilution so for babies it's one drop to one tablespoon so one drop of essential oil to one tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil or carrier oil for children be one drop to one teaspoon and then adults is three to six drops to one teaspoon so um i always recommend to dilute for babies um, and children for adults you know you're a little older <laughs> you can make your own decision on that um, so that's what we're gonna do into a rollerball so let me see I was thinking I wanted to make a well blend and so a well blend is something that I it's a rollerball that I would apply to the bottom of my feet my husband's feet well I mean he could do his own but um, and my and my son my son is three it's gonna be three on the 18th of this month but anyway so this would be something that I apply every single night um so let me see let me show you oh and and before we start actually I want to share with you um, a couple of ways that I like to store my roller balls so personally like if I I like to make roller balls so that I can keep them with me at all times right so when I'm traveling I have them with me I don't play with my oils okay so this is a really nice case um, this can be purchased on Amazon you can just start looking for um, like essential oil cases but this one is really nice because this is tough like this is tough like I could drop this I can throw this at someone and it's not my essential oils will be intact but so this is um, 
I have, what is this, three, six. So I've got 12 different oils in here that I keep with me at all times. This is what it looks like on the inside. And yeah, and that's it. I literally have this with me at all times. And it's funny because I was having a, a, a meeting with someone and so something happened. And then I was like, Poof, I just opened this up. And she's like, oh my God. I'm like, yes, girl, I'm playing. But another way um, that if you want, you can store your oils at home is use freaking lipstick holders. See this? So I have a lot of different rollers um, because I was, obviously this is what I do for a living. So not only do I like pretty things, but I like to gift pretty things. So you can just use, see I mean? It fits so perfectly in there, right? A lipstick holder. And I got this from probably TJ Maxx or Ross or something. Um, and then if you want to get cuter, um, I mean, I think that's cute too anyways, but, um, this is actually a gift from a client of mine. This is, um, I forget, I think it was from shareoils.com is the website, but anyways, this is a cute little holder. And so I've been keeping this right on my nightstand. This is super cute, but this is, it allows me to remember to apply my oils first thing in the morning. So let me show you, let me, it's cute. And it's really cool because you can set it up like that, flat. You can set it on its side like this or any side. It's really cool. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, and what else? And then, yeah, that's it. That's how I keep my oils. Um, another thing that I do also with oils, just to show you, um, is I, these are 20, 20 uh, little oils. These are vials. So, they hold, I think it was... 15 drops and so why do I have them in um, in this case and and then this is because sometimes I don't want the oil diluted right these are great for on the go but um, what if I don't want the oil diluted and I want to like let's say I'm at, at a friend's house or something and they have a diffuser and so I want to um, use my oil so or um like helichrysum i wouldn't really diffuse that one um and helichrysum is just like it helps with uh, blood coagulation so i wouldn't i personally wouldn't want that diluted i just want to put a drop on there um so yeah this is a freaking lifesaver and so then what i do is something that you can do as well is if you do carry undiluted oils like this you can use a roller ball and just fill it up with fractionated coconut oil and then that's the label if you can see it it says fco um yeah so that is it so let me show you oh let me show you one more cool thing there's so roller balls there's so many different kinds right don't think that you just have to get the amber glass bottles you can they can they come in all types of cuteness okay this is like great for UCF <laughs> but um just there's tons of cute things so don't think that um if you want to get cute with it you know um okay and so then the last thing I wanted to share is um so this is what i made last night this is a flu bomb right so like i said you can make things as cute as you want um or i mean they're not it's not like it's not cute it's just you know <laughs> but this is a flu bomb because manny's a, a little not feeling so well so what i did um is also just to remind like to let me know for future reference of what oils i have on there right and i just put a sticker on here so i have rosemary frankincense lemon melaleuca oregano and on guard and um these are the little stickers that i use and then you, i mean like i said you can get real cute or on a budget right because i mean those things are are, are not like pricey but once you start getting a lot of them that's when they're pricey <laughs> But you can get a dress labels. So this is, I got this from Target. You can get a dress labels and just write on them. And they're already a sticker. So you just take it out and peel it off. And that's what I did. And then I wrote flu bomb on it. So it doesn't all have to be like this cutesy thing. And, um, you know, you just have to, the most important part is that you know what's in it. Um, 
and, and that's it, you know. So let's let's start making one. And I am gonna make this a cute one. So this is what I'm gonna use. And um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up one of these roller balls. And just so you know, there's some um, some of these roller balls come with this plastic ball. Um, if you can, don't get it. <laughs> um, the stainless steel roller tops are the best. So when you are searching for them, look for a stainless steel roller top. Okay, so um, and my well blend is Arbor Vitae, okay, um, On Guard, and Malaluca. So um, this is going to be a versatile blend. So this is going to be for Christian, me, and my husband. So I'm actually going to do five drops of everything. So I'm going to count with me one, two, three, four. Okay, then I'm going to do five drops of Malaluca. One, two, three, four, five. And five drops of On Guard. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then the rest, I'm just going to fill it up with some coconut oil. And then all I got to do is put the lid on top. the lid which I don't have with me so <laughs> but you're gonna put the the, the roller ball which goes because I don't I, I really don't want to use the like the one I just showed you the plastic one <laughs> give me one moment oh no I don't have any right let me see um <laughs> so this is it so this is what a stainless steel looks like you just put that on top. Use a little muscle. Put the lid on top. And that's what you got, right? So to put a label on it, this this really cute label um, from shareoils.com comes with a one for you to put on the top. Right? Super cute, and then the one, the label to go on the roller ball. I like these ones. These are really nice label because anytime that you see like the silver in the back, it's gonna be a nice. Let me focus here, so <laughs> I don't want to put it on incorrectly. But this looks like a straight up perfume. I'm gonna show you. It's super cute. Like if you want to give this as a gift, oh my gosh. If you have like a girly girl like me, they're gonna love it. But how cute is this? You see it? So it says well on it, 100% pure, 100% good. That's it. And then what I do is apply to the bottom of my feet every single night, and we've got a roller ball. And that's it. That's all it takes to make a roller ball. Um, like I said, um, stick to the dilution rate that we talked about in the beginning and um, you can make all sorts of things, like all sorts of things. So like I said, go ahead and make sure to uh, jump over the glowing lifestyle. I'm going to be sharing rollerballs. So all you're going to do is going to go to, um, I'll have an album. Look under the photo albums and there will be a bunch. Every day I'll post a new one and that's where you get a bunch of rollerball recipes for you to start making your own things, start making your own concoctions. I hope that you found this very helpful. Um, yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye!